when I tried it on, I loved it, but then when I saw the price, I was like, yo, I would never pay this much for sunscreen. Like, who does that? That's, that's too much. However, this one does the job. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Renny. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I really appreciate each and every one of you taking your time out of your busy day to watch this video. On my channel, I do fashion, finance, lifestyle, and much more. And one of my most popular videos is all about skincare. You guys seem to love when I do videos about skincare, so here is another one for you. And this one is all about sunscreen. If you know me, you know that I basically bully people into wearing sunscreen because I realized a few years ago that sunscreen is actually essential if you want to see progress with your skin, especially if you have hyperpigmentation. I think a lot of black people have been told that they don't need sunscreen at all, but this is simply not the case. So I'm here to debunk the myths and give you sunscreen that actually works for you. The problem is that when we say, okay, go and buy some sunscreen, people will go and buy it and then I'll leave them looking ashy and dusty. So I understand that struggle, trust me. A few of the ones I've tried have left me looking white and pasty. Today I'm gonna tell you the best sunscreens for dry skin. So I personally have dry skin, but this video is in collaboration with another content creator. Her name is Tosi. I'll link her video right here. She is actually making her video on the best sunscreen for a combination or normal skin. So you can watch that video right up here. I'll link it in the description box as well. So if you don't have dry skin, this video is probably not for you. But if you do, keep watching. I've heard a lot of great things about mineral sunscreen and also that it may be better for you health-wise. So I decided to try out four mineral sunscreens and honestly, I was very disappointed with some of them. I used to use chemical sunscreen up until that point, and chemical sunscreen is my OG, the ones that I will continue to use. <laughs> I liked a few of the mineral sunscreens, and if you want to see that video, it's right up here. But yeah, I, I really love my chemical sunscreen, and today that's what this video will be all about. So I actually realized as I searched up the actual names of all my, the, my favorite sunscreens online, they're actually all considered moisturizing, hydrating, lotion sunscreen so I guess that's the reason why they all work so well for my dry skin so my first sunscreen and this is one of my favorites all-time favorites is the Neutrogena hydrogel water based sunscreen and <laughs> that's a mouthful but it's SPF 50 and it is honestly one of my favorite sunscreens of all time it does have a bit of fragrance so some people don't like it but I, I love it. The thing I like about this one is it is SPF 50, so it is adequate coverage, and it's also a very cheap and cheerful, so it's not overpriced. It's $14.97 here in Canada, and you can purchase it at Walmart, or you can get it at Shoppers Drug Mart or Rexall, any of the, the drugstores you can buy it at. Claims that go along with this sunscreen are that it is a face sunscreen that delivers effective helio broad spectrum UVA, UV, VB protection with a water light refreshing Feel. It's perfect for daily use and this non-greasy su sunscreen layers invisibly under makeup and feels so good you won't believe you're wearing sunscreen. Our formula is made with hyaluronic acid and quenches the skin with vital hydration to keep it looking healthy. This light screen doesn't cut this light sunscreen doesn't leave a white cast and is oil free and non comedogenic which means it won't clog your pores or cause acne. Hydrate and protect your skin from the sun today. As you can see, those are very big claims. They say it does not leave a white cast, it does not clog your pores, it's good for everyday use, and I have to say that I agree 100% with all of their claims. I've had no problems with the sunscreen with it clogging my pores, and it really does leave your skin looking healthy as they described. It's like a nice glow that it doesn't, it's not too greasy, but it, it leaves you looking like you're moisturized and hydrated, which is obviously what we're all going for, I assume. I would say that if you are a more oily girl, this may not be for you because this on top of your oil will make you look a little greasy, I think. But I have, obviously I have dry skin, so I haven't tried it. But this is one of my tried, true, tested, and I love that it goes well under makeup. So this one, I'm wearing it right now actually, and it just goes on so well under your makeup and my skin feels so soft and supple, which is exactly what I want out of my sunscreen. One thing I will note is that it does have a fragrance, so if you have really sensitive skin, maybe this one isn't for you, because yeah, it does have a fragrance. Personally, I am not, I'm, personally my skin is not very sensitive, so I'm not affected by fragrance. 
and uh, yeah, I really love this one. It's A1. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next. And make sure you like this video as well. My second sunscreen that I recommend for everyone who has dry skin is Aveeno Fresh Essentials SPF 30. I don't really see anyone talking about this one for some reason, but I personally love it. I am an Aveeno stan. As someone who has really dry skin, I Aveeno is really the only lotion that works on my body, like overall on my entire body. It's the only one that truly hydrates my body. So naturally, this was the, one of the first sunscreen I ever tried and it does the job and it does it well. So this one is $19.98, so it is not too expensive as some of the other ones, but it's also not obviously extremely cheap. But it is 74 milliliters, so it will last you a bit of time, even with daily use. And I truly love this one. You can purchase it at Walmart or any of those other drugstores that I mentioned earlier. So I'll read the claims right now. So it is an oil-free facial moisturizer that can help your skin look fresh and beautiful, even with your busy lifestyle. Refresh your healthier looking skin. This moisturizer nourishes and protects skin with vitamins A, C, and E and contains broad spectrum SPF 30. Active Natural Southern Wood Extract helps restore skin's moisture barrier to lock in what's good for skin and keep out what's not. The moisturizer is hypoallergenic and non comedogenic As you can see, it claims to nourish and protect the skin. I will say this is true from my personal experience with it. It leaves my skin so supple, just like the other one. Um, this one is more of a creamy texture rather than a gel texture like the other one. This one also has a smell, so it smells like nature, <laughs> I would say, but like like flowers or something, not not in a bad way. I personally like the smell of this one as well. If you have sensitive skin, you may not like this smell either. Personally, I'm a fan. As you can tell, I'm a fan of this one. This is my go-to, other than the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, because they're so inexpensive. These are my go-to's. Easy to purchase at Walmart or any other drugstore, and very hydrating, giving you that healthy looking glow, no white cast, no need to, and you also, the benefit of this is you don't need to rub it in for a while, it's just like rubbing in lotion on your body, you rub it in and it automatically blends into your skin, unlike mineral sunscreens, you know. So overall rating, 10 out of 10. So my next sunscreen is Dermalogica Prisma Protect SPF 30. I know when you hear Dermalogica, you're like, yikes, it must be pricey, and you are right, it is extremely pricey. They have a small size, which is $26, and then they have a large size, which is $89. Personally, I received this for the first time when I had, when I signed up for Influencer. They sent this to me to review. When I tried it on, I loved it, but then when I saw the price, I was like, yo, I would never pay this much for sunscreen. Like, who does that? That's that's too much. However, this one does the job. So you can buy this one from Sephora, Ulta, or you can buy it from Dermalogica directly. The claims are as follows. Light activated multitasking moisturizer provides broad spectrum defense while preventing future signs of skin damage. Intelligent drone technology is activated by visible light to help boost skin's natural luminosity. Breakthrough antioxidant technology helps protect skin against pollution. It provides protection from UV damage while a bioferment from sage helps to maintain an even skin tone. Advanced moisture magnets provide all day hydration for visibly smooth skin. Whatever all that means, it works. It does work. So this one acts really well as a primer under makeup, which is very essential if you're wearing makeup regularly. So I do like this one. It also looks good if you're just wearing it by itself. It gives your, again, it gives your skin a very healthy looking glow. I do recommend this one if you want to spend extra money on your sunscreen. But if you're actually using the recommended amount, it's 50 milliliters. So this can go in a month or two. And Personally, I do not have the money to be spending $89 a month or every two months on sunscreen. So I will go with my cheap and cheerful options, but for special occasions, I will use this. So anytime I go out and I'm doing my makeup really nicely, this is what I use to prime and protect my skin. And it definitely leaves you with a beautiful finish afterwards. You will know that I also tried Dermalogica's chemical sunscreen and it is not my go-to because it leaves a white cast. So they have two sunscreen, they both claim to have no white cast, but this one definitely is the better of the two if you have to choose between either one of them. The last sunscreen that I will be reviewing is Supergoop Zinc Screen SPF 40. 
This one is the only mineral sunscreen of the bunch. I prefer the chemical sunscreen because they rub in so much more easily. But I do like this one. Out of all the mineral sunscreens I tried, this one was definitely my go-to. The price of this one is $55. A little pricey for me personally. Um, you can get this one in Canada at Sephora. So I think Supergroup is only sold at Sephora in Canada. So the claims are that there's a new 100% mineral SPF in town. Meet Zinc Screen SPF 40, a lightweight, non-nano zinc oxide lotion that provides daily protection from the sun's damaging UV rays. It has a pink-hued formula that blends in translucent on most skin tones and works beautifully on sensitive, acne-prone, or oily skin. It also, it's also full of clean ingredients like cherries, coconut fruit extract, and blueberry extract to help nourish and shield your skin from other aggressors. Get ready to be pretty in zinc. So this one does live up to its name. It is pretty in, it leaves you pretty in zinc. The other zinc sunscreens, if you know, you know. Zinc sunscreens can leave you very dusty looking, but this one did not do that. It leaves you also with a nice healthy glow. I think that's my aesthetic now, like looking healthy, glowing, but also natural, you know? Not too greasy, like it looks like I'm putting something on, but it's my skin, but better. So that is what exactly what you get with the sunscreen. Only downfall is the price, a little pricey, but also that you have to rub it in for quite a while. I think it was two and a half minutes that I rubbed it in for. Not horrible, but also like kind of add, <laughs> add some time to your day. So um, I do like this. I use it again. This one also goes, this one also goes really great under makeup. So I do use it pretty often when I wear makeup. As I mentioned in my other video about mineral sunscreens, this one does have a smell, but this one is not a nice smell like the other two. This one is like a, it smells like zinc oxide and all the chemicals basically. So it's not horrible because once it's on your face you don't realize it or you don't smell it anymore. But it is not the nicest smell. But if you do have sensitive skin and dry skin, this probably would be the best one for you. Well, that is all for this review today. I hope it was helpful and I hope you are inspired. If you do not wear sunscreen, I hope you're inspired to wear sunscreen now. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And if, so if you don't have dry skin but you still decide to watch this video, first of all, thank you. And I will recommend that you watch Tosi's video. I will link it once again in the cards and in the description box. She is a great content creator. She refers to herself as the skincare police. So you know that she comes with a lot of great tips and she really has taken her skin like leaps and bounds from where it was. So I'm very inspired by her skincare journey and I hope that you are too. Check her channel out. She's a great creator. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks everyone. Bye.